Once upon a time, in a quaint village, there lived a little girl named Red Riding Hood. One sunny morning, her mother called her into the kitchen. Red, darling, her mother said, your grandmother is feeling ill. Take this basket of goodies and visit her, but remember, do not stray from the path. Red Riding Hood nodded, taking the basket. She set off through the forest humming a merry tune. Every step she too, okay, brought a rustle from the bushes. She paused and looked around but saw nothing. Shrugging it off, she continued on her way. After a few minutes, she heard a voice. Good morning, little girl, it said. Red Riding Hood turned to see a tall, dark figure. It was the big bad wolf. Good morning, Mr. Wolf, she replied cautiously. I'm off too. Visit my grandmother. The wolf's eyes gleamed with malice. Is that so? Where does she live? Red Riding Hood hesitated but finally answered. In a cottage at the end of this path. The wolf grinned. Have a safe journey, my dear, he said, and disappeared into the forest. Red Riding Hood felt uneasy but pressed on. Minutes later, she reached a fork in the road. She remembered her mother's warning and took the path on the right. Suddenly, she heard footsteps behind her. She glanced back, her heart pounding, but saw nothing. As she walked, the trees grew denser. The light dimmed. She felt an eerie chill. Then, she spotted something on the ground, a scrap of cloth, torn and stained. She recognized it as part of her grandmother's apron. Her pulse quickened. She ran the rest of the way to her grandmother's cottage. Reaching the door, she knocked frantically. Grandmother, it's me, Red Riding Hood. Come in, dear. A voice called from inside. Red Riding Hood entered and saw her grandmother lying in bed, covers pulled up to her chin. She approached cautiously. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, she exclaimed. All the better to see you with, my dear, the voice replied. Grandmother, what big ears you have, all the better to hear you with. Grandmother, what big teeth you have, all the better to eat you with. The wolf threw off the covers and lunged at her. Red Riding Hood screamed and darted towards the door. Just then, a hunter burst in, having heard her scream. He fought the wolf, eventually driving him away. Trembling, Red Riding Hood thanked the hunter and rushed to her real grandmother, who was safe but hidden in the closet. They embraced tightly, relieved that the danger had passed. Red Riding Hood learned a valuable lesson that day. Always. Stay on the path and trust your instincts. And so, they lived happily ever after, the memory of the suspenseful encounter forever etched in their minds.